certain sides hard at work. Wait. Spectral stains. Haunted house. The New England Primer. Looks new. Looks local. There might be a way to open this door from the other side. Hallowed be thy name, Marcy. Our beloved angel, heaven sent. <clears throat> I'm busy. What do you want? God lights the firmament of the heavens to divide day from night. There are no more nights. There are no more good days. I don't know. The weather's improved. It's almost night. Nice. The sun was risen upon the earth when Lot entered into Zor. All right. What's going on? What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. God has forsaken us. The new boy governor is a witch. Lammy? A witch? Why would you think that? I seen him. I seen him do his rituals. I seen him do the devil's work. Ugh, what has Lammy done now? Tell me about this angel. How did you meet? The angel is my sister, and she bears the mark of the Lord. Marcy wandered in the wilderness for many days and nights, and then one day she returned to lead her people to salvation. He's haunted by a ghost, but thinks she's an angel. I hope you're taking note, Red McGrath. Speaking from personal experience, she's likely not an angel. She's probably a ghost. Oh, thou of little faith. I have not yet met God, but I do not question his existence. Perhaps I should envy her certainty. If you are blessed enough to meet my sister, then you'll change your mind. I'd like that. Where can I find her? Near the old mill, hidden at the end of Long Beach, is a cave. Our sacred place. She will be there. They never could find her body, but she is still there. I must take my leave of you, sir. God keep you, for I shall not. If Hugh puts his faith in his sister's ghost, he's a fool. I can understand the need to believe, but come on. It's not for us to change his mind. Siblings. Feeling guilty about Naomi Day and Temi. 
On principle, I refuse to feel guilty. Yes, I feel guilty. I should have made the journey. I should have gone to see them. Time flies. And oh, how it has flown. The ward's power is gone. I... Doesn't this ocean air just make you want to sail the open seas? I've always wondered where your love of boats came from. I definitely was a pirate in a previous life. Watch out! Spectre possession! Die, you bastard! Whose clothes are these? If we want to stop for a wee minute, this place will do.
The veil here is as thin as in the cave where you found me. The Something's written here. I believe it's from Marcy. Arise into the I don't know if these are comforting or terrifying. I go with creepy. I've brought stew. Is your favourite? Bread and water, too. Oh, it smells so very good. Thank you. I'm sad to disappoint, but I am fasting. As did our Lord Jesus Christ himself. Truly, you and he walk the same path. I'm so very proud of you. You batch not let his sister starve herself. He's convinced that she was chosen by God. Does she believe it too? Let's look for Marcy. This is old. It must predate the bachelors. Early settlers? Natives? I think I heard the sound of a gun cocking. Off we go then.
join the target practice. Like you need it. Is there a cave in New Eden that doesn't have occultists in it? They were looking for the devil. Marcy was looking for God. And now an angel has taken up residence. Red, come. I found something. A bloody knife in a dingy cave. Always a pleasure. Oh, that's something to tell us. Here and now, I lift the curtain. Oh Lord, please, help me. I'm scared. I can't do this alone. Cut it down. Cut it deep. deep. Well do Take I know it. Take my hands. Take my hands and mark them so your flock may see, so they will no longer doubt you. Do it, Marcy. Do it, my darling. Grant me the strength to do my duty. Your blood is the blood everlasting. I will speak your sainted words. They will listen and believe. She cut herself. Where did the whispers come from? A 
brother is a zealot. Two peas in a pious pod. Zealotry is often the symptom, not the disease. There's a trail of blood. Let's follow it. Poor thing. How long has she been lying here, forgotten? And how has she gone unnoticed? Perhaps the path was already blocked. I can feel her presence. You have her tie. Summon her. Shall God do? Our Father who art in heaven, I thank you for your blessing. Good day to you, Miss Bachelor. My child, you may call me Marcy, for I am the angel Marcy, sent to guide and protect. Are you an angel too? I see your man with you. Were you sent to guide and protect him, to be his light in the darkness? He should be so lucky. I'm Antea Duarte, and I'm no angel. This is Red McGrave. We're banishers. And what have you banishers done? How far have you fallen? You stand swaddled in your guilt, ferocious in your blackened hearts. Well, let's come back to that one, shall we? You see, God speaks to me. In visions, he reveals his light. What would you ask him? What would you ask the Lord? Ask, and I will answer. What happened to you, Marcy? What happened? I opened my heart and let in the light. And do you know, it had always been there. You starved yourself. You refused your brother's food. Is that what killed you? God gave me a duty. I should sacrifice my body, as did his son, that my people may have forgiveness. I must carry the light to unbelievers, so that with it in their hearts, they may be saved by the light of the Lord. You sacrificed your body for the salvation of others. I'm sorry, I don't know how that works. Our people are plagued by evil. Darkness grits them. I've noticed. In the turmoil of my dreams, I'd watch them writhe and burn in endless flaming turmoil. I knew not what it meant, but you kindly helped me understand. In revealing to me the horror lurking in the shadows, God was showing me the goodness waiting in the light. My suffering lights the way to salvation. We're going to have to talk to Hugh about this, aren't we? We must leave you. God goes with you, my child. Whether you know it or not. Wait. I feel something. Someone. My brother. I'm here. Hugh.
My brother! Marcy. My Mr. McCray, can you see her now? Is she not magnificent? Is she not a blessing from the Lord High God himself? What are you doing here? I'll justify neither my comings nor my goings. You might have to, school teacher. Marcy had visions. She heard voices. Did you know this? Of course I knew. They scared her. God sent a trial to test me. But he also sent me a guide. My brother, sir. Did you not talk to Reverend Davenport? Or Haskell, maybe? Why would I do such a thing when the Bible is clear? In visions, God reveals himself to the chosen few. My sister is one of them. I'd known all my life that Marcy was special. Here was the Lord's own proof. You seem very sure of yourself, sir. But I suspect you've gotten things wrong. No. You do not understand. And how could you? But this is my destiny. My brother helped me to fulfill it. My sister was chosen by God. A banisher could not understand. A heretic could never understand. Let's get this over with. Hugh Bachelor. You're haunted by the ghost of your sister, Marcy. But you, sir, are a dangerous fanatic. A man that is a heretic after the first and second admonition reject. You've had your admonitions. I reject you. You drove your own sister to her death. Allow me to return the favor. I hold fast the Lord's name and deny not my faith. Even when Marcy, his faithful martyr, was slain where Satan dwells. I hold fast. I hold fast! Gate. I hear no trumpets. I hear no trumpets. I trusted With Hugh dead, Marcy can no longer feed on his essence. So why is she still here? Maybe she's more attached to him than we thought. It's time to send our angel back to heaven.
Bye. believed she was an angel, or a fallen one. Poor Marcy. She didn't deserve that. Neither her life of suffering, nor its end. She deserved a better brother, I'm not just sure. She's free now. She was a pure soul. I mean, they all are beneath the dark, but... Her's shone, like a child. 